Hi again, we're back. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you at this midpoint break is where we're at um, in the farming series. What I intended here with three farming courses is the initial triad, triage, uh, triumvirate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I wanted to put it in an exact succinct order of delivery, and this is not flippant, folks, uh, and why you are being now told that in the caboose of the three, uh, there's a reason for uh, doing this. Um, number one, people do what they want. You're not going to listen to me. Why, why would you? You don't even know me. Um, but number two, uh, you, we tend to go into things focused like so. Um, I want to go into things focused as wide open as I possibly can. I do not assume that you're going to follow this prescription. Therefore, I am telling you now, at the midpoint of the third course in the triage, to describe to you what it is I originally had in mind, and then it's no problem you can go back and complete the triage to get a full body of information. So, let's get on with that. The first course in the triad, triad tri triage um, is the essential biodynamics. Now, this brings in the really large picture to get you used to this large picture and this energetic uh, view of the universe and what the universe has got to do with your farming, which is just everything. Um, hoping to, to whack your view much, much bigger than it already is. Or if you're already there, to agree with you and to finally be a partner with you that there's finally a guy out here talking about doing this and putting it really into practice because this is what I do. Okay, so the essential biodynamics is out there to show how the universe, a little bit about how the universe is actually assisting us in the farming process. Eventually we get around to that. But to describe the uh, cosmos and uh, just the incredible and rhythmic and, and reliable and repeatable um, rhythms and cycles and vibrations and waves and energetics that it does provide for us and that we are uh, players in and with all of the mysteries that are involved as well you know the entanglements which are going on this is all affecting your farming it's all affecting all of us actually as we walk around but we're just not aware of it and that is the luxury that it gives to us is we don't have to pay attention to this it, we've got such a perfect and such an incredibly balanced physical plane here uh, that is um, side by side, paralleled with so many other levels and dimensions. Uh, and of course goes way off into the non-physical and these are things that I know nothing of. But we're taking from that greater, greater, greatest body of existence and we're bringing it in uh, to start out your picture and to use this uh, BD calendar, this biodynamics calendar in your everyday farming operation. Now this is all a big mouthful, um, but uh, I want to tell you why it's so key that you learn the biodynamics, what it's for. And so I want to sum up by saying biodynamics is the why. Why do you do farming in this way? Big picture, universal assistance, universal ally, you know, this gives you the why on why buy organic farming is what I would recommend for you. Okay, number two course, bio-organic farming and gardening. Now, I don't like the gardening term, but I put it in there as a keyword, uh, so where I would get more, more of you uh, listening into this, all right? But I really intend it to be for farmers and people that are farming more more for just themselves, but to, to share with others, okay? That's why I don't use the term gardening. Um, Bio-organic, in my mind, is um, biodynamics combined with organics in the growing field. And, and, and for anybody who's uh, dealing with any kind of biology, including their own. Um, now this is the nuts and bolts. Do this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then that. So 
this is the um, how. How do you farm, okay? We know why we're farming in this manner. How do we go about doing that? Um, boots on the ground, hands out, in the soil, with our tools, putting in the seeds. Here we go, Bob's your uncle, we are farmers. All right, so that's the second course. That is the how. Okay, the third course, living farm. Here we are. Um, this goes on into the what I call the advanced mode because we are going into the, um, the beyond now. This is uh, taking your farming and um, being able to be as, as uh, self-reliant. I don't use this word self-sustainable because uh, it's not a true term and it is understood as an abused term. Self-reliant, self-contained is, is possible in your farming going forward into the into the forever future. This is the intention of this course. You've got the why and the how. This course, Living Farm, is the what. What to plant. Um, and so we're giving you all these ideas. It's an idea bank, you know. Um, uh, this will fetch you a higher price, but this will be good for the long haul. This will give you your everyday nutrition, fill up your belly. This will give you pleasure and joy and feed your addictions. And you don't have to be, you know, a stringent sort of, um, you know, a very, very boring robotic human to live in this future world. You can be in joy with your little foibles and uh, your quirks um, and grow very good quality food in the process okay so we're looking to go forward in joy we're looking to go forward with a lot of fun and a hell of a lot more community being with around people being around your guild a lot more than we have been and finding out rediscovering that that's really where we want to be because nobody wants to die alone nobody wants to be out in the world alone even though most of us are even when you're with people the way that we have trained or we have beaten our minds down, um, we are alone in a crowd, and oh, perhaps we can evolve past that. Now, I've given you uh, ways to, to look at this thing on a, on a localized basis, going localization with the Helen, Helena Norbert Hodge and the local futures people, but also with Nassim Harameyan, uh, going forward with his unified science, which gives us really a very close, close, uh, almost ex ex exactitude by how the actual universe does function out there. So aside from the actual farming, we have these other people which are coming in uh, to provide vital information for us. So we've got the why, the how, and the what in H in a a, a definite determined triage triage here of courses now there could be other courses coming up in the future there um, I hope there will be I hope I hang around to do this for decades more um, but I do want you to understand at this midway point what I'm doing um, and I hope I have not bored you but uh, we are in a holistic holographic universe we need to embrace that and quit talking about it as if it's just an analogy to something that's real. This is the realness, folks, and what we are living like this, this is an analogy. We are not being real. Let's widen our viewpoint. Let's be real. Let's embrace this holograph that we are in because that holograph is a real thing. You'll notice if you fall off a building, you will die. Um, so we're not talking about um, airy fairy, uh, anything, um, any any kind of hippie fodder going on here. We're talking about something that does exist, has existed, will exist. Whether or not we're going to survive in it in the future is up to you and me, and I mean you and me, not anyone else. Don't look, don't look to your government for help. That's not going to occur. You know that now and, and on several fronts. 
So let's look to do it ourselves. Let's look to bring a better world, better universe. And I'm not trying to be a superhero here or, you know, get rah-rah about all of this. I'm talking reality, and I want to keep talking reality. So let's go on with the remainder of the course. Get on with your regular crops um, as exampled from all over the world, interviewing all these different farmers, these lovely people. And again, if you need to see something in there that's not let me know. I will add it in, and uh, we'll go forward from here again. This is M, Simple Life. Hope to continue seeing you.